And it's north central Nigeria now where the federal government has flagged off its Waste to Wealth pilot program that's in Benue State. Benue was singled out because of its rich natural resources, which makes it a choice area for the pilot scheme in the region. The state has also battled with improper waste disposal, which has led to block drainages as well as flooding. <laughs> This was in August 2016. The Benue State Governor Samuel Autumn is appalled at what he sees as he turns streets in Makudi, the state capital, lined with filth. During this period, residents had complained of flooding, but they were also seen as part of the problem, with waste disposed indiscriminately, blocking drainages built for free flow of water. Most of the problem have since been resolved. There are plans for a more permanent solution, which is why Benry has taken advantage of the federal government's Waste and Wealth program, which is being flagged off in the state. The Federal Ministry of Science and Technology is championing this project. It was in the past that waste was waste, but today, in Nigeria and in the whole world, waste is wealth. And we are here to show the people of Benway State and indeed the people of the North Central Zone how to convert waste to wealth using technologies being developed here in Nigeria. Toward promoting indigenous technology, the Ministry of Science and Technology has developed equipment that will convert this waste to wealth towards creating employment for Nigerians. Governor Autumn leads the team to the project site, which will sit on four hectares of land along the Makudi Naka Road. If all goes according to plan, and there are assurances from both parties that it will, over a hundred direct jobs are expected to be created. You're using West to create wealth. So when this project takes off fully, you will discover that several uh, people will be involved in bringing those words here for recycling. So that alone will take something off the streets. And once those things are recycled, they become useful to humanity. So this is a good thing. Benry State is a choice location for the waste management pilot scheme because of its rich natural resources. It's expected to serve as a model for other states in the zone. And five persons suspected to have been responsible for the kidnap of seven students and staff of Nigeria Tulip International School in Isheri Ogun State on the 13th of January 2017 have pleaded not guilty to the charges against them. The suspects, who uh, were arraigned before a federal high court in Abuja, are standing trial for alleged kidnapping and hostage, including the collection of ransom from the relatives of their victims. The trial judge, Justice James Soho, ordered the suspect to be remanded in Kujay prison pending trial, which has been fixed for the 28th of September 2017. And that's news across Nigeria at this time. Many thanks for watching. I'm Millicent Walker. I'll see you soon.